every program that you know was out there that was in fashion, I suppose, I, I've given it a go. I've done CrossFit, I've done F45, I've been a part of big box clubs. I always come back to you know, the, the purpose and, and the reason why we opened up Ace Performance, and that is the science that was um, you know, taught to me at a young age, at the age of 15, really set me up for a successful career in sport, but also for a good life in training and health and fitness. I just don't think that the performance sector has its own sector in Australia yet. I think America does it well, Australia doesn't do it well, and so what's ironic about this is we're talking about the fitness industry, but we are the fitness industry at the moment. Mm. That's what we're up against, sex sells in marketing, and, and that's what the fitness industry is using, and, and unfortunately it's not great for sports performance. And I, I've seen it evolve from being, you know, health and fitness related to now being just a, I would say like a, an engine of propaganda that we're pushing out. And most of it is around vanity, you know, uh, rather than science. Yeah, sure. Um, I obviously left university and uh, walked straight into a job at a, a, a large gym as a custom service manager. Um, and then one day I decided that I wanted to train people um, and I flipped a switch just like that. And within 24 hours as a PT, um, there was no official uh, change of job role. Um, they offered me three months free rent uh, and I started training athletes that day and given my age and sporting history, uh, I was a go-to athlete development coach. Um, little did I know at that time, I didn't even know how to do a deadlift properly myself, let alone coach it. Really, at the end of the day, the most successful PTs were really the ones who could market and sell themselves the best. So if you had rock solid abs, you had big biceps, you know, you, you had a bit of background in sport, you know, that would automatically qualify you for a, a look-in with regards to a PT role. Like, what, are you, what is your feedback on just the fitness industry and how they've shaped the trend is to be able to accommodate the sports performance industry? I, I don't know how much they have shaped them to look after people within the sports performance industry. Athletes require a science-based training, you know, science-based proven training methods that are safe and follow a periodized plan. And then it, the ex-player, the ex-athlete, that becomes the, uh, the high performance coach due to their experiences, um, you know, that's becoming more and more prevalent. So, yeah, I played for a, a footy team for five years in the AFL, well, I must know exactly what I'm doing in high performance, and I walk in the door, or um, I went to the Olympics for track and field, um, that makes me a, a track coach. So, yeah, we've had the experience as an athlete, but that doesn't necessarily, you know, equate to becoming a good coach athletes from 40 odd years ago that are now in the industry and well, this is what I did back then okay we're 30 or 40 years on now and things have changed <laughs> a little bit <laughs>